<laughs> no, no, ladies first. It's okay. Uh -huh. okay ladies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think I, I also really exciting about today's game. It's super fun. Hello everyone, back at it again with Badcast, the Buddy Podcast. With me again, Oka. And I will be the host of this episode. Hmm. And with me here, we have Meng and her buddy, Sandra. Hello, Meng. Hello. Oka. Hello, Sandra. Hello, Oka. Hello. And uh, I almost forgot. Today, we have one special guest, Paul, an exchange student. Hello, Paul. Hello. Okay, hmm, I know that our audience must be curious who they are. So, please introduce yourself, guys. Okay, hello everyone, nice to meet you. Uh, my name is Alexandra, but you can call me Sandra. Um, I'm a bachelor student who currently study at Information System Department, batch 2018 at ITS. That's all, thank you. Hello everyone, um, my name is Sok Ming Kingdom, and you can call me May. It's okay. I'm from Cambodia. I'm master, a master student at mechanical engineering, technique machine. Then I finished the first year already. So the next semester is my second year. Yeah, hello, uh, my name is Paul. I'm a uh, bachelor student uh, uh, from Germany. I study the engineering and I make one semester exchange in Durabare mm -hmm. at the ITS at material and chemistry engineering. Mm, I hope we can use this long time during quarantine for positive and productive things. Okay, let's moving on. So, in today's fourth episode of podcast, the title is... Let me quiz you. You must be curious, right? So, for this episode, we will use Kahoot as an intermediary. Mm, I think everyone already know what Kahoot is. So, are you ready, guys? Yes, yes I'm ready, Oka. Oh, ready. Sandra. Oh, Paul. Okay, I hear everyone. I love that spirit. So, okay. Quiz. Start. Question number one. Two, one, yes, true or false. An ostrich eyes and brain are the same size. Hmm. Is it true or false? I think this is this one is a good question for a start. Mm. Yes. The, so the answer is false. Who answered it true? I want to know who answered it true. Yeah, it was me. Oh so everyone paul got it from it's okay it's just the first question so let's go to the next question question number two what percentage of our dna do we share with gorillas hmm. all answer is in a number is it 20 oh so the answer is 98 percent who answer it uh, me. Who answered? I, I answer ninety-eight percent. Oh, Sandra, you get the correct answer. Yeah, you I you know that. Yes, Sandra. Yes. Uh, I, actually, I'm just guessing. Oh, <laughs> you're just guessing, but you, but you get the correct answer. Yes. But do you know, guys, there are animals with a higher percentage than gorilla. Yeah. Really. I think. Uh, I I don't know the name, but in German it's called chimpanzee. It's an ape. Ah. It's a, I don't know what's the English name, but it's an ape-like from a planet of the apes. This 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 ape has a higher uh, mm. share. Oh. I think so. Yes. Oh, wow. There are chimps and bonobos with ninety nine percent, almost one hundred percent, guys. Question number three. Oh, Sandra is the first one. 
Which animal has these strips? Ha! Ah, everyone know lah. This very easy question. So the answer is zebra. So let's hear another fun fact. Let's go to question number four. Which animal is the fastest land animal? Ooh, ooh! There are four animal. Was it it? So the answer is all right. So the answer is cheetah. Okay. Let's go to the next question. Question number five. Let's hear another fun fact again. What do you call a group of giraffe? Pride? Power? Crash? Here? Mm. Oh, to answer it correct. This is a, a difficult question. Uh, not really for me. So, guys, do you know what is pride here and crash are? Yeah, I know um, what's a pride. I know what's crash. Uh, but I don't know. Uh, pride is the woman who married and the crash is when you have a crash with the car, maybe. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, I think so, I know. Oh, yeah, Sandra. Um, the pride is a group of lions and then uh, the what is it the crash and herd it is a collective noun for a group of uh, rhinoceros okay wow you are very clever <laughs> thank you <laughs> <laughs> wow that's a new information for me too but i only know that a group of giraffe is a tower only know that <laughs> okay yeah, so thank I you i only Sandra. know that <laughs> okay let's go to the next question question number six. Oh, sandra is here the the first one some zoos don't treat their animals appropriately is it true or false hmm. so is it true or false oh the answer is true um but oka why is true isn't this false in my opinion, um, all zoos give the best facility uh, to, for their animals. Mm, mm, but I don't know if you notice, but there are also zoos that do not care about an animal's natural habitat requirement. Mm. I, I see some pictures of, of the tiger that looks very thin. And, uh, yeah. and also sometimes it's not possible to give the, the natural habitat because, for example, in tiger or someone needs need square kilometers of, of, of land to have a real and they don't can give it in a zoo. Yeah, it's very sad. Yeah. Yes. Actually, guys, according to Nat Geo, the World Animal Protection Organization criticized hundreds of zoos for mistreating animals. This is very sad, right? Yeah. Oh God. Okay. Let's go to the next question. Question number seven. Oh, man, is be the first to for now. Okay, what is the approach ratio of median age of African elephant in the wild nature and the zoo? Hmm, what is the ratio? One, two, one, three, one, one, or two, one? So the answer is. One, three. Oh, one, true. Who answered it? Me. Who answered the correct one? Oh, man. Uh, do you know about this already? or? I know nothing. I'm just guessing. <laughs> <laughs> guessing, but correct. Okay. So, African elephants on a nature preserve died of natural causes at a median age of 56 years, while African elephant in a zoo had a median lifespan of 16.9 years. Oh, this is interesting information for me. So, you mean a one lifetime of African um, elephant in the wild equals to three lifetime in the zoo? Yes. You are very correct. Okay, let's go to the next question. Question number eight. 
Psychosis is a term that describes the condition of happy animals socializing in the zoo. Is it true or false? Oh, the answer is false. Mm. Uh, actually, I've heard it before when I was in biology class back in high school. Mm. So, you remember what you study in biology class in high school? Uh, some of them. <laughs> mm, okay. Actually, I want to I want to uh, the truth. I want to tell the truth. I just found out about it actually. <laughs> so, if I, so the zookosis is a word used to explain the stereotypical behavior of animal in captivity. Am I right? Yes, that is absolutely correct, Oka. Okay, okay. Let's go to the next question. Question number nine. Who is the first? Oh, Meng still the first. Okay, multi select. Which fires that are that originated from animals in fact human? Hmm, what is? What the fires that originate from animals that in fact humans? From animals? Oh, all corn. All right, guys. <laughs> so the answer is all correct. Actually, guys, these viruses spread because of spillover of the pathogens from animals to people. Do you know which animal each virus originate from? Um. Well, I know that uh, the COVID nineteen is originate. Uh, it said originate from bats. Mm, yes, that's correct. What about SARS? AIDS and Ebola, Meng and Paul, do you know it? Ebola may be from insect. Um, yeah. Who bites you? I don't know the name. Uh, and SAR so maybe from the pig. Hmm. Oh. Or chicken. I'm hmm. confused. <laughs> okay. So according to Nagio, AIDS originated from non-human primates. And SARS was identified as an animal virus, perhaps bats. Mm, oh, I remember, according to WHO. And the last is Ebola, most likely originated from the wild animals as well. So, all correct for this question. Yay. And let's go. Ah. Who go for Oh, Meng still the first. Not just humans, animals in this are, are also affected by the pandemic. Is it true or false? Mm, this is easy la. Okay, all correct. Everyone is correct here. Zoos are hugely affected by the pandemic. The animals in the zoos are so poor. What do you think, guys? Um, yes, uh, that is true, uh, I think. Because during this pandemic, people were advised to stay at home, right? So it caused the zoo become um, empty of visitors uh, because no one dared to go to there. So this causes uh, the zoo to get very little income and not enough to buy animal food there. <laughs> and I, saw, I also have read uh, the very pathetic news about the zoo lately because of uh, this pandemic. Mm. How about you, Meng and Paul? <clears throat> yeah, I think the same because the zoo has no uh, people that can come there and then they don't have money. And, mm. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So, actually, in my opinion, because animals can be in infected by coronavirus and also wow. zoos have no money no money to buy animal food since they didn't have any visitors so the zoo are hugely affected by the pandemic okay thank you guys now actually that is the last question now i will reveal the winner for today's game of kahoot hmm who will it be okay the third one four the second one, Sandra. And the first one, yes, we know la, the first one, Meng. Congratulations to Meng. Yay. Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And we've reached the end of today's podcast. Let's read. Yay. Yay.